I'm Dr. Vandana Bede, and I am a physician in the Division of Hospital Medicine at Mayo Clinic, Florida. Influenza is a very serious disease, or can be a serious disease, and usually causes a pretty significant cough, fever, chills, body aches. I mean, people feel really lousy. Some people, especially um, people over the age of 65 or children between the ages of six months and two years, or uh, people who have um, chronic medical dis disorders or who are what we call immunocompromised, for example, they may have had a transplant or have cancer chemotherapy, those patients are at higher risk for complications. And there's up to 30,000 30, people a year who die of influenza. And certainly many more who are hospitalized um, from influenza. So when should you get a flu shot? Well, I, th I think the simple answer is as soon as it's available. Um, a lot of people think, well, if I'm ill, I can't get a flu shot, or they try to time it so that um, it's active at the height of flu season, but really you should get it as soon as it's available. It takes about two weeks for a person to develop immunity, and the flu season can go as late as March, so it is a good idea, again, even if you don't get your flu shot early in the season, you know, January, February is still important to get the flu shot. Another high-risk group that should definitely get vaccinated is healthcare workers as soon as the vaccine is available. And in fact, at Mayo Clinic, the, all of our uh, employees are required to get the flu shot so that we protect against influenza to ourselves as well as our patients. This is really an exciting year for influenza vaccines because there's so many more um, vaccines that are available. One of the, the nicest things is that there are now two kinds of vaccines that are not grown in eggs. So people who have severe egg allergies now have an option. We also have the choice of a, of a nasal vaccine. So um, especially for school-aged children and young adults, that's a really good option if they don't want to get a shot.